Hi, my name is Thomas Gustafsson. I'm the Chief PKI Officer at KeyFactor. In this short video tutorial, I will show you a real quick start of the Sign Server Community Container. In the brief tutorial, I will start with a fresh Ubuntu 22.04 LTS Linux installation. In this, I will install the Docker runtime. I will pull and start the Sign Server Community Container from Docker Hub. And I will end by accessing the Sign Server Administration UI. And I will authenticate to the Administration UI using a client authentication certificate, which I issued in a previous video tutorial. So let's get started. On Docker Hub at keyfactor slash sign server CE, there is the uh, sign server community edition container. It has full documentation and commands so to pull and start uh, sign server. But before we can do that, we have to install uh, Docker in our machine, of course. In Ubuntu, this is very easy by sudo snap install install docker so it installs docker uh, pretty fast and now we're ready to pull the container and start it so there's a docker pull command here which pulls the latest version of the sign server container so i copy that and a sudo docker pull key factor slash sign server dash ce so this will download and unpack the latest version of uh, the Docker container. So the, now with the default installation of Docker, it requires pseudo privileges. Uh, you can easily configure Docker to not require pseudo privileges, uh, which is what you may want to do in a more production-like environment. But that's a, an exercise that is left to the viewer. So with the container downloaded, there is uh, example commands how to start a, an ephemeral sign server container. So this uh, start command requires a uh, CA certificate, which is the CA certificate that issued the administrator authentication certificate that I mentioned previously. And from that previous video tutorial, I have downloaded this. It's called managementca.pem, the CA certificate. And I have a client key store here in, uh, which is my name, uh, .p12, which I will install later on. But we copy the, uh, the command and sudo and install. Uh, on this, I have uh, just a local machine not accessible from the outside. So I will use the host name localhost. And I will replace the trusted ca.pem there to, with the path to where I downloaded my management ca.pem, which is home user downloads management ca.pem so now this should uh, start sign server as an ephemeral instance and this is really the easiest way to start a completely fresh sign server to try something and the good thing with an ephemeral instance is when you stop it with control c in the end uh, it wipes everything from the disk so nothing is persisted and the next time you start the same command you have a new uh, fresh from start installation so i use this all the time myself too when i want to try out something new and don't want to use say one my development installation which has a lot of different configuration but i have a fresh start so whether you're trying sign server for the first time or you are a seasoned sign server user who just wanted to test something or the try the latest version uh, using the community container is a great and easy, very easy choice. So this should be ready now. And if we go back to the documentation on Docker Hub, there's a link here to uh, access the admin UI. I will open a new tab with that. And I changed the host name to localhost. So I'll use that. So now it's a sign server uh, admin UI, but it says not logged in, client certificate authentication required. So now I will uh, install the previously issued 
client certificate in my web browser, in my case Firefox. So under settings, privacy and security of user certificates, you can install and remove uh, user and CA certificates. In, depend in other uh, web browsers, they have the similar functional functionality, but in different places. So here I can import and I get my thomasgustason.p12 file. I enter the password for the p12 file and it's installed. Now I can uh, click on use TLS client certificate and it asks for my client certificate. I click OK and now since this is a, uh, a generated local server certificate, Firefox doesn't know well it uh, in advance, I have to click through and say accept risk and continue. Uh, so now we are in the sign server uh, administration interface and now we can uh, look around configure workers for example in administrators now any administrator issued by the same CA are allowed but you can lock it down by adding a specific certificate uh, to be authorized and then switch to only listed and uh, that's all there is to it. There are uh, many resources for Science Server. The Science Server community website at scienceserver.org, uh, the Docker Hub, Docker Hub page that I just showed you on hub.docker.com with the, actually the basic documentation how to start the container. We have uh, lots of Science Server documentation or full documentation on doc.primekey.com. And if you require support and SLA and enterprise other enterprise features, there's a Sign Server Enterprise Edition available from Key Factor. So thank you for listening.